stuff. I didn't know what I was going to do, but uh, you know, I kind of gravitated. I like working hard. Um, I grew up on the farm. Uh, trades are in my family. Um, so it, it sort of was a natural fit for me to transition into that and an opportunity came up to, to, to uh, get involved in a millwright apprenticeship and, and I kind of took it from there and I enjoyed it. I loved it. I liked the, the work. I liked uh, the variety and uh, different job sites, different people, different crews and that's sort of what kept, kept me going and kept me interested. I spent um, 15 years on the tools, uh, welding, cutting, you know, fabrication, machine removing, rigging. I think that's the nice thing about mill writing is you get your hands on a lot of different things. Uh, every trade has its own aspects, but in the, in the end of the day, there's a lot of very similar construction tasks in each trade as well. I'm an energy guy and I'm a people guy. I like, I like people and I get to work with new people uh, a lot on different jobs, right? So it's not the same, the same team all the time, so you have to integrate and figure out the team and how do I get work done with my team and through my team. Uh, and that's what I think challenges me is, is uh, enjoying the people aspect and, and different customers. Taking their ideas and bringing them to fruition, right, is, some, uh, is gratifying being able to do that. Yeah. One thing that I find myself saying a lot to people that ask me about the trades and, and, and what it's done for me, I find it really the trades expand in a, a, your soft skills and your people skills and your communication skills more than what people realize. So you get into the trade to learn how to turn wrenches and wire things and fix things, but you learn a lot more uh, looking back. More of the skills it's taught me is to how to get along with a team. So your communication skills, your planning skills, your organizational skills, all those skills that you can't really get taught in school. I find the trades really plays a, an, uh, an impact on, uh, on, on those skill sets as well as your technical skills. Yeah. You know, there's lots of opportunities out there. Do your homework, do your research, take a, take a bit of a deep dive into what, what, t what makes you tick and what do you enjoy. That's what I think is working for our company as well, is bringing young, young team members on out of high school and out of college, giving them an opportunity for a year to move around and try the different trades and uh, work in general construction as a laborer and work, put them out as a pre-apprentice with the plumbers, electricians, millwrights, move them around and then they find over that, that course of a year, year and a half of what, they, what makes them tick and what they like. But take your time, figure out what you like and, uh, and don't be afraid to go after it.